In the past few months, the IBM Quantum team has made a series of dramatic changes to their quantum ecosystem that have left many new users and even some legacy users like myself a bit confused about which is the right way to use Qiskit and how are we supposed to interface with IBM's quantum processors. So last week, I finally decided to try to figure out which is the expected way in which we're supposed to run quantum programs. But uh, I quickly realized that this has become so complicated and is so poorly documented that I thought it was definitely worth creating a series of short videos explaining what I found. Now, the subject of executing quantum programs can be quite extensive if we try to cover topics like optimizing circuits for hardware or noise mitigation. So my plan is to cover just the fundamentals to get you started with Qiskit version one and the new IBM runtime interface. And hopefully from there, it'll be a lot easier for you to figure out more advanced options. So here's the idea of what I plan to cover. Uh, in a typical workflow, we first start by generating a circuit. And then we decide if we want to either simulate that circuit locally or execute it on a real quantum processor. Now in the past, there was also a way to simulate things on the cloud, but that service is going away. So now we're only left with these two choices. Now, usually we want to first run a simulation, maybe of a smaller version of our circuit and then run it in hardware. So we want the interface of the simulation and the interface of the execution on hardware to match as closely as possible. So to do this, Qiskit had a few different ways to run simulations and we'll cover these in the next few videos. There is also a separate package called Qiskit Air, which consists of a series of highly optimized simulators in case we want to run larger circuits or include noise. So we'll spend some time also talking about this type of simulations. Now, in the past, what we would do is once we were done with the simulations, we will run using what was known as the Qiskit IBM provider. Unfortunately, this is being deprecated, so we no longer have this option, which used to match really well what we would do in Qiskit and Qiskit Air. Now, what we're expected to use is what is known as the Qiskit IBM runtime. And runtime uses something called primitives, which are slightly different from the way we used to execute circuits. So for this reason, now IBM has introduced this primitives concept also in the Qiskit package. Now, similarly, Qiskit Air has some primitives, but unfortunately, there are two versions of primitives. Version one, which were the original once when uh, this concept was first introduced, but now these are being deprecated and being replaced by version two. And the primitives available in Qiskit Air are the old version, so we will not be covering those. Hopefully version two primitives will be integrated in Qiskit Air in the near future. Now, in the meantime, we can use another feature that was recently introduced that allows us to use the Qiskit IBM runtime interface to also simulate circuits by passing some of the simulators instead of using the package's native primitives. Now, if you notice, I have color coded things here differently because you require different installations for all the packages that we need to cover but we'll go one by one so we can make it easier. Now, if you're a new user and this seems overwhelming, it's because it is. This has become really complicated to follow, but hopefully with these videos, you'll be able to understand everything clearly and know exactly what is it that you should be using for your specific application. Now for these videos, I'm going to assume you have some basic understanding of how to implement quantum circuits and that you have access to Qiskit. I'm going to be running everything locally on my computer. So if you don't have Qiskit installed, I'll be sharing a link in the description below so you can get that done. Now you can always go to Google Colab and run all of this code there. The only issue is that you have to install the Qiskit packages every time you open a new notebook. I have tried to find a way to install all these libraries permanently. 
uh, in Colab, but uh, honestly, the hassle of trying to load the libraries once they're installed is just as bad as reinstalling everything from scratch. So personally, I don't think it's worth the, the trouble. So once in Colab, all you need to do is just do the pip install of all three libraries we're gonna be using. And then as you can see here, we can implement a circuit and you should be good to go. So in the next video, we're just gonna start with some of the basic simulations we can run using only the Qiskit package. And then from there, we'll progress towards how to use runtime and how to execute circuits on IBM's quantum processors.